How to Identify Fungal Spores This is the only course you will ever need to master fungal spore identification. Fungal Spore Identification Course Fungi are present in virtually all environments and affect us in many ways. Spores of many fungal species have been documented as important causes of allergies when inhaled. Airborne fungal spores are commonly trapped from the air to evaluate the potential human exposure to fungal allergens. Fungal spore trapping is also commonly used in crop disease outbreak prediction so that suitable control measures can be undertaken in advance to avoid crop losses. Identification and enumeration of airborne fungal spores are highly specialized skills. The purpose of this course is to help participants develop the competence to accurately identify and enumerate the wide variety of airborne spore types and differentiate them from other biological and non-biological particles. Who can benefit from this course? The course will benefit those intending to analyze, monitor, or study indoor or outdoor airborne fungal spore concentrations. Environmental consulting firms that would like to set up in-house fungal identification laboratories. Though the course is designed for beginners, it will greatly help those who have analyzed spores for a few months to a year to expand their knowledge and improve their skills. What are the intended course outcomes? Upon completion of the course, participants will be able to prepare samples for analysis, accurately count and identify a variety of fungal spore types, Calculate airborne spore concentrations. Interpret lab results. What do you need to identify fungal spores? To perform accurate fungal identification, one should have the following. A quality microscope with a calibrated ocular micrometer. Illustrated fungal spore reference books. Quality microscope slides and cover glasses. Suitable staining solution. See next slide. This slide shows some of the items in reference books that you'll need to be able to identify fungal spores. This slide shows some examples of airborne fungal spores. What spore characteristics are used in identification? Some of the characteristics used in fungal spore identification include spore size, spore shape, number of cells, attachment scars, Wall characteristics, spore color. The best way to see the color of spores is to use water as the mount tent. However, water may not be used as a mount tent for spore trap analysis because most of the small highland that is colorless, spores would be difficult to see under the microscope. Where can you register for the course? Register for the full course at www.mytrainingcourses.ca and learn how to identify, enumerate, and report airborne fungal spores.